setup in the world. Unless you're a fan of the bus here. And rolling. Oh yeah, rolling was composed of that. Okay. Artificial sun. Reading an abnormal spike at the heat signature at point A2. Seems as if Wild has taken over an artificial sun originally designed for a weather control and has modified it to overheat the extreme heat has dried out the area making it a desert. The desertification is spreading towards Area Zero, so stop that sun before it's too late. Huh. It's a simple enough concept, I assume, that I can... Yeah, sure, I suppose, yeah. Right, without a doubt. Yeah. Temperature is rising rapidly at your location. Even you won't be able to last long in that heat. Once your armor reaches 100% capacity, you will start taking damage. Hide in the shade as much as possible to stay cool. There are several energy generators. If you can destroy them, you should be able to lower the temperature. Of course, she didn't mention just how many there were exactly, which is a little inconvenient. The concept of this level is don't stand in the light for too long, you'll burn. So, be quick. Having double jump really helps. And make sure to go into these rooms. Because every single one of them has one of these inside. And every time you break one, it gets a little cooler outside. And of course, it doesn't help too, too much. But when the weather is on a normal at the not this one, when it's cloudy outside. There we go, yeah. And then you'll make you'll see a significant change in temperature. Anyway, so we have this room. Which is a bit of a pain in the butt. But nothing double jumping and well sliding off platforms can't solve. Now we come into this room. This room, fight the mini boss. I can't remember the name, it was like Tyrant or something. But Tyrant has these lovely little augments called glass cannons. Oh, and a demonstration of the EX here we picked up from Rhino Magnus, which it doesn't seem to be using it anytime soon. Oh, here we go. Yep, that's what it does. Very impressive, right? A completely useless against bosses. Yeah. Ooh, she's a little... It's not useless in the totality. But it is mostly useless. Um, yeah, the glass cannons is, uh... That's a... They drop a, a chip part that you may, uh... Be uncomfortable with not having them. And are actually probably more uncomfortable to get. But with the glass cannon parts are not the to make them a couple of good pieces. And that's what happens when you stay in the center. You cook. So do some favor and don't stand in the center. And destroy as many of these things as possible. I think the defeat of the uh, sub boss helped uh, cool things down even. I'm not entirely sure. It seems like it. It's all kind of. Those yellow things are sand dozers. Irritating monsters. All they do is push dirt around and then drop it on your head. So they don't have any real combat capacity. They're just there to be annoyances. Fairly certain this is the last one. Is it? 
Sims gitu lah, as gue Not close enough to last Oh, there we go And That's how Sandozer attacks Seems inspired, doesn't it? But yeah, you notice even with all those, all those, you know, things broken, it's still hot outside. If it was cloudy, it wouldn't be hot anymore. It'd be just the same temperature everywhere. And our boss is some variant of butterfly, I think. Which is colorful, granted that. And in place of the sparkles of butterflies, she gets little dots of fire. This boss is not something to take too lightly. Yeah. Because she can still mess you up pretty quickly. So do yourself a favor and don't do anything risky. That's her EX attack. It's very easy to dodge so long as it's not dropping on top of your head. And she throws it exactly where you're standing when she throws it. So it's a good idea to dash away before she throws it, and then just jump over it. It's a fairly simple attack to dodge. She was very tame in this fight, thinking it was a good idea to sit in the same position. Normally she does a whole bunch of moving, including... spitting out streams of fire, and dropping landmines. Or just being annoying and flying to the other side of the screen for the sake of flying across the screen. And back if she so chooses. <sighs> well, that's it for this. I am calling it quits here.